Because of this new emerging Tijuana today, Americans waiting in line to cross back into the U.S. might have a nice bottle of Baja wine to take back. But before crossing, Martin Montellano would like you to consider another way to remember your trip. How about a plaster piggy bank? Ten bucks. That price is negotiable. La Hello Kitty, eh, los superhéroes, el, el Hombre Araña, el Superman. He has them in dozens of characters. The latest box office hits like Batman or Spider-Man. He has a Mickey Mouse, though it has a kind of creepy gaze. How about Bart Simpson or an angry bird? They're all displayed in neat rows at his merchant's booth. It's one among many that line a traffic island surrounded by the cars inching toward the border. Almost all the vendors here sell these piggy banks. I've been selling these for 30 years. My family's been in this for a long time. My dad's been selling them for 60 years, right here. Indeed, these piggy banks have been a mainstay of Tijuana's tourist scene for decades. When times were good and visiting tourists had 100 pesos left to blow before crossing back into the U.S., why not buy a piggy bank? I remember we used to sell up to two, three hundred, in just a single weekend. But the violence fears that drove tourists away last decade took their toll on piggy bank sales, as they did on all businesses here. Now, Montellano says he's lucky to sell 40 in one weekend. Tourists are returning to Tijuana, but most of the people crossing the border are still commuters. Still, in the hilly residential neighborhoods that rise above the city's downtown, piggy bank production is churning. Behind his modest home in a working-class neighborhood, Edmundo Gonzalez employs four workers at his piggy bank workshop. They mix plaster and pour it into molds, then shake the mold by hand until the plaster dries. One worker peels a mold away to reveal a perfectly formed white plaster donkey. He carves a coin slot into it, then sets it out to dry along with hundreds of other curious Georges, Hello Kitties, and Big Birds piled in the courtyard and on wooden shelves. Nearby, another worker applies paint to nearly completed wagon wheels. This is a way of life for people, a way to work and earn a living. Because of the competition, people do have to offer them for low prices just to sell them. A street vendor can sell one of these piggy banks for as little as three bucks and still make a profit on what he paid a wholesale producer like Gonzalez. It's not a big profit. But they do this because it's better than working in one of the factories in the city. In a factory, you can't make as much as you can with this merchandise. A full day's work in those factories can pay less than $10. In fact, there are piggy bank producers across Tijuana. Plaster is cheap, so that keeps production costs low. So does a general disregard for Disney and other company trademarks on all those cartoon characters. Back near the border, it's the vendors who tell producers exactly what's selling and what's not. Cristina Gonzalez, no relation to Edmundo, has a shop here. Right now, what they're really asking for is nativity scenes. Since Christmas is coming, they want nativity scenes, Santa Clauses. That's what they're buying in big quantities. And that's one of the benefits of having so many local producers, even if it drives prices way down. A special request can be cast in plaster within days, and stock is easier to replenish. Other goods for sale near the border, like sombreros and leather sandals, they're shipped from the interior of Mexico. Many of the blankets with Mexican prints on them, they're made in China. Yeah, China. But plaster piggy banks, well, they're produced right here in Tijuana. It's really something that Tijuana has given to all of us. And Edmundo Gonzalez says that's a contribution he's proud of. 